Hello, it's Jimmy again from Riley's Autos, and today we're coming to look at this BMW. And if we look right down here, let's get a line. The drive belt, auxiliary belt, or fan belt, whatever you like to call it, has come off. Doesn't seem to be any damage to it, but it's come off one of the wheels. Can't really see why at the minute, but we're going to have to remove some of these plastics and get down in there to have a look. Just on the front here, you've got two T20 torque, and we're going to get those off. Those bolts are removed, it allows you to pull this out and pull it aside over there. Now we can see a little bit better in the area. Let's have a look. You can see the tension is moving there. And it looks like it's damaged the bolt. Just in there. So because we can't get into the bolt here, we can't get it off, we're going to need to try and pry bar this. Uh, Tensioner. We're going to have to pry, try and pry bar it off, and hopefully that will leave the bolt exposed, and we can try and go from there on getting that removed. I can just about feel the end of the bolt. I can feel it's not tight; it's loose. So I'm just trying to stick my fingers in there and try and get it to twist around. moving so I think we're quite lucky on that one I'm just gonna carry on with this for a minute and would you look at that in there recess I managed to get my big fingers pressed against it and twist it around Super fingers. No drilling required. We had our drills there ready. And we would have had to use tap and die system to drill a hole through the center, put a tap and die kit into it, and then put a bolt in there to unwind it. But it's worked out okay. We've had a look through our assorted nuts and bolts here and we found exactly the same bolt and if you look from directly above you can see that this one is actually bent as well so we we're quite lucky to get that out this tensioner is about how to stay as well so we're going to put a new one of these on there and here we've got a new Tensioner, and there it is. And would you look, 
what's inside comes with a brand new bolt. So we didn't need this one. We've got the brand new one that it came with, so we'll get this all fitted. So we've just put the new tensioner in place there, and we've got the bolt here, which is an E14 socket, just like that. We're going to get this in. So we've got that new tensioner in there, and we've made sure the bolt is torqued up to the correct spec. Every vehicle is different, so you need to check that yourself. And that would have been the problem, what caused us to shear off. The bolt would have came loose a little bit. Just cause a little bit of play, a little bit of play, and it would have moved, moved, moved until the head sheared off. So that's all tight. Now we just need to get the belt on, and we've got our pin, locking pin, which holds our tension in place, which is quite handy. That is a job all sorted.